me, it is emotional out here, I can tell you that for sure. It's a bit stormy. Ted Coningsby YouTube channel. How are we doing? Oh God, I nearly went onto the range there. It is really, <laughs> look at the hair. So that, if that moves, it's, it's bad. It's bad, how are we doing? I hope we're feeling well, man. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna check everything out where the whole beach air weapons range, Ted Coningsby channel, is really, really bad. I mean, if I stand it, I'll just get whoa, like that. Absolutely crazy, hope you're all good. Just give me one sec, I just gotta just check everything's gonna be okay. something for you I hope so I don't know so I was here this morning and uh, it was it was very it just didn't feel right and it just sounded like everything got cancelled so I uh, didn't want to play that game so I went over to Marham and uh, got um, yeah got an unrestricted climb never seen that before absolutely brilliant right absolutely really good I've never seen an F35B from RAF Marham do an unrestricted climb really good so yeah, 30k channel, we did it. Absolutely brilliant. So yeah, we're at Whole Beach Air Weapons Range, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. It is a military firing, bombing weapons range. Stuff happens here. Whole Beach Air Weapons Range is a place to bring your aircraft, to blow up and shoot stuff. And last time we were here, we got blowing up stuff. It was amazing. So yeah, uh, targets laid out. Just waiting for aircraft to come. The flags are up. And we'll talk about how the process works, how to come here, what to do, how to play it all safe, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to check on ADSB. Um, it's you, you know. I always say just give it every hour on the hour sort of thing. You just don't know what's coming in, really. It could be anything. First days are usually good for Chinooks, but you just don't know what's going to happen. I can't, like I said, came here this morning. It all cancelled. Um, so it was just absolutely no point. Uh, yeah. So yeah, enjoy. I'm just gonna have a little uh, look. How we doing, how we feeling? I'm gonna get on the chats with you guys, see how we're all good. White Wizard, thank you very much. Gifting Ted Coningsby memberships. Thank you so much. Oh yeah. It's a very, very windy for our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. Hang on there. Hang in there, Teddy. Thank you so much, White Wizard, for gifting five Ted Coningsby memberships. So, yeah. So, I've got my radio on. As soon as you hear the radio, you know what, you know what will happen. It's all good. It's all good. It is all good, ladies, shents of teddy bears. LEJ approach, member for three months. Got a prish, pr got officially promoted to the Provost flight. Oy, oy. Thank you very much. LEJ, kindly working behind the scenes, by the way. LEJ does help out the Ted Coningsby channel in the background, by the way. And of course, speaking of helping out, We've got our very own Spanner Flight. They keep the chat sweet and neat. So thank you very much. Thank you, Spanner Flight. Uh oh. Not, no, not today, Ted. No way. That wind is going onto the range. So we're going to have to be really careful with Ted's beret. So, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, let's play stuff safe. All about the safety, yeah? So when the red flags are up, that means the range is active and uh, for visibility at night as well, there is the red light as well to assist when it's, uh, when it's dark. So when the red light is on, red flag as well, then the range is active, okay? So basically at night, the red light will, will come on as well because obviously you can't really see everything at night. So that's what you're looking out for. The flags are dotted about 
when the red flag is up this means the range is active here is the range do not go onto the range that is an absolute no they do use real ammunition here lady shenton teddy bears even um i mean even the bombs that they use okay they're, they're filled with cement but surely that's going to hurt if that lands on your head we're talking about 500 pounds on a gbu 12. so where is the border where is the range border well i am right on the border you've got these signs here saying keep off live range explosive danger of death etc etc now how do i get here well there's parking for carefully parked free cars uh you can't see my van today because uh yeah um there's a footpath public is a public footpath and you you're more welcome to just go on the bank but do not see i'm level with this i'm level here look just treat that that barrier that that sign they are dotted about treat that as your limit so basically on the flat part that is it that's the maximum you will go and if you do go on you will get a telling off and uh yeah uh, you can park your car well i've my van is over there and so if you do come if you do get a spot here to park treat this barrier like a crash gate can you see that red barrier there that is a crash gate it's an emergency route it must be kept clear now okay an illusion here that car is not actually blocking it it's almost like a little parking side area passing bit car park lay by thing when you get to the barrier you can either take a right and go this way so there's a public footpath sign there you can either take a right or a left and come down where i am and there, this is the public footpath if you are bringing little ones and uh, our four-legged friends please keep them on the lead especially when there's actually aircraft shooting up the range and blowing up stuff please do that i've seen a dog chase a hare out onto the range luckily there wasn't anything going on at the time but the dog saw the hare and just went after it so looking after us um, is whole beach tower oi oi old beach tower oi oi uh, we'll talk about them very shortly and what they do uh, you'll see these barriers here because they don't there isn't a runway here but there is a helipad and you do get chinooks here i recommend this is a recommendation you probably will get told off so you see the public footpath goes i would not go anywhere past that that brick building i don't know for those that have experienced it especially in the trade the power of a chinook when it lands will blow you to i don't think you'll be in kansas anymore um you will get blown away <laughs> and if you've got like a camera like i have the le the led screen will just flip back at you and shut the screen it is absolutely phenomenal that's why i don't go there because if there is a chinook it's going to be game over so aircraft cannot cannot just uh, go oh, i'm just going to go in the range and start shooting up they cannot come here without clearance if they're going to use the range it is very important everything has to be cleared so an aircraft will if it's if there's an aircraft that's already booked in with the range uh, they will contact whole beach on their frequency and check in and whole beach tower go hi how's it going and uh we'll uh we'll, we'll tell them you know what you're bringing who you're bringing how many aircraft basically who's on board and what you're carrying and all the details there just before so when the aircraft checks in so that say for example there's four say we'll take the four f-15s which i never got to hear because i wasn't here <laughs> um basically they will check in and just say look four of us um two pob persons on board on each aircraft so there's two per so pob you'll you'll hear that um and uh, they'll they'll say what what the intentions are what they're going to do that so last time there was uh, the pilot said that they got gbu 12s which are paveway to the 500 pound bombs which we've seen that was absolutely remarkable so uh whole beach will just um will just either tell them to just uh squawk the conspicuity until they get closer um and then change it and then when they are allowed to enter the range uh, whole beach tower will go fine squawk 7002 that's the danger area code that's um that is the danger area squawk code that means they can enter the range they've been cleared to squawk that code however even when they come here 
they can't just fire openly they have um, sometimes they can request what target or they can say I'm going in hot or going in dry if you hear um, I'm going in dry no actual weapons are going to be fired if you hear um, going in hot tower would still need to clear hot even, even dry they still need to clear it so if the pilot goes um, in hot tower still need to go in hot okay has to be cleared whether it's dry or hot tower will go clear dry or clear hot when they're done with the range they're also told by the way the QF um, the QFE also told the uh, the weather conditions as well if they require it and when they're done with the range they cannot leave the range without clear, clarify, um, um, clearing that they've turned the safety on they have to put the switch the safety on they cannot leave the range without confirming that the safety is on okay hope that makes sense this is one of our targets here Margot, thank you for gifting uh, the super chat there for Ted's kill. Oh, God, that is brilliant. I've got to get Ted a kill. Brilliant. Imagine that. Teddy. I'm going to get Ted a kill. I'm going to, I'm going to, I could buy the material and just make him one. Yes. That would be brilliant. The Earl of Ted, the Duke of Ted. Thanks, Margot. God's march for Margot Baxter. Thank you so much. I think we've got some more love here coming up. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a new member as well. We've got DJ Silver Surfer 966. Thank you very much. I can't believe we're a 30k channel now. Can you believe that? 30k. So that's for you, DJ Silver Surfer 966. God's march. Thank you very much. Uh, Margot gifting five Ted Coningsby memberships as well. Thank you very much. Margot, I'll tell you what we'll do. We're going to do the Nestle for you. And one more time. Thank you so much. Much love to all of you. Please hit the like button. Don't forget, we've got to hit that like button. We have to get that like button cleared. The like button has been cleared hot. You are clear to hit the hot, cleared to hit the like button. Why do we keep saying this? Because YouTube will recommend the stream. If it's got lots of likes, then YouTube will recommend the stream. If the stream is recommended, that means more exposure. More exposure means more viewers. More viewers means more subscribers. So please, if you may, and of course, just because we hit 30K, we're not gonna stop there. Come on, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the Ted Connorsby channel. Oh yeah. By the way, I actually have no idea what's coming in. I really don't. Oh, what's this F-15 doing? Well, I haven't heard anything on the scanner, so I'm not sure. Scanner's on. I'm hoping we get something. Hopefully. Uh, we've got Paul Murray, hi Ted, and everyone from me in Thailand. Thank you very much. God's much. Just because we can. Thank you very much for, uh, for your service. Yeah, unfortunately, the weather does look emotional and I hope we're going to get something other than seagulls and rain at the moment. So, a very, very good afternoon to Chris Bloxham. Let's start with the spanner fly. How are we all doing? White Wizard, Davey. Great chat to you, Davey, yesterday. White Wizard, how's it going? Officer Viv. Uh, who else we got it? Margot, thank you very much. Just seeing, uh, I think we've got Mayhem Marshy here as well. Claire Bear's on here as well, wow. The clarest of bears. Hope 
we're all good. And Arjen, how you doing? The span of flight, keep things sweet and neat. Ladies, gents, and teddy bears, this is a, a family channel. Yes, we're a, we're a military aviation, our, the top number one military streaming aviation channel. And we keep things sweet and neat here. It is a family channel, so therefore, if you have to choose words, and hide some of the letters then do not use them at all we have youngsters here especially now that here in the in england they've uh, and wales scotland and great britain and wherever uh kids have just finished school so uh therefore we may get some younger viewers tuning in and we cannot have any form of emotional language <laughs> so please so uh span of flight will look after that so yeah in britain they would have finished school by now Thanks everyone that's tuned in. I can't believe last time we were, we actually got blowing up stuff. So we are at Hull Beach Air Weapons Range. Like I said, this is a place to blow up and shoot stuff. And last week, I don't know if you, if anyone's not seen it, please do. I've even got it in 4K as well as the live, of course, of the four F-15s dropping GBU-12s, which is an American Paveway 2, 500 pound bombs, which are laser guided. And I attempted to track them and I got them. Ian Wright, how you doing? Paula Edwards, DJ Silver Server, again, thank you for that. Millie Morley, how you doing? Uh, Christine Barnes, Meth, Dream Bigger, Stephen Norris, good afternoon to you. Becky Davis, how are you doing? Lynn Morris, how you doing? Thank you very much. Lots of thank yous for the 30K. Wow, James Philpot, how's it going? Um, Kevin Davis, Aaron Oxford, CPR 1234, how's it going? Uh, Chris Luna, Eric, Paul Heesman, how are you doing? Captain A, how's it going? So yeah, nothing all coming. I've got my scanner on because it's not quite air traffic control. I have our scanner on just so you can listen into some of the range talk. That's all. So that's why you'll be able to hear it. Um, it's not quite live. There is a 20 second delay. So everything you see here happened. Everything I say happened 20 seconds ago. The weather is looking emotional, but I'm hoping that we're going to get some movement. Aaron Oxford, I oh, bless you. Mate, honestly, Aaron, if every single penny helps, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Really, honestly, much love to everyone who supports the Ted Coningsby channel. Um, you guys all got us. Aaron Oxford, thank you. Guards March for you. I'll tell you what, one sec. We'll try it, Ted. Be careful, Ted. Hang on, Aaron, there you go, mate. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you're all good. Hope you're well, hope you're swell. So yeah, not long now for the TCS party as well. We're off to Lossy Mouth. Tomorrow we've got Quick Climb Friday. It's, it's all coming quickly now. It's all getting here now. So how you doing? <laughs> the footage of the bombs was world class. And yeah, good point, Gaza. Obviously, with different time zones, we do have children watching from other countries too. Yes, of course. Thank you for reminding me. So I'm talking now. It could be morning where you are. It could be evening. It could be afternoon as well. Uh, whatever the day is, whatever the whatever the time zone, a very, very warm oi oi. So if you're wondering what all this oi oi is, that's, uh, that's TCS talk that is TCS vocab this is the way we greet each other we don't do hello we go oi oi and you can spell it how you want you can add more eyes for emphasis like I said if you do hear sea aircraft very close by they're not coming in until it you'll hear my scanner um, so yes just remember that let me check to see what we got because it takes the Chinook from RAF Odium if it is coming or if we are gonna have a Chinook um, you know, we could be a long way, we might not get anything, who knows? But didn't want to wait too long. I thought, do you know what? I'll go to Marum for a little bit. Mm 
Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you from Frogfoot, Scotland, Tamora. You lucky. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy Bailey. Thank you very much as well. Guards March coming up for all of you. Uh, Roger Anthony Lowe. Thank you very much. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. 493 of you watching. That is absolutely smashing. Guards March coming up for you. Living a dream, my man. How you doing? Hope you're good. Lots of you on here, love it. Sandy Bailey coming up, Guards March. Right, let's get, let's get it. Guards March for uh, Sandy Bailey. Okay, let's sort this out, Ted. Right, Ted's ready. Um, the weather is worrying, I'm hoping they haven't cancelled, otherwise, it's going to be, oh well, live chat. Um, so, Sandy Bailey, Guards March, thank you for the super chat. Thank you very much. Now I've also got Frogfoot. Thank you very much. Guards March for you. <laughs> Loving it. Loving the vibes here already. Thank you, Roger. Anthony Lowe, keep up the good work. Thank you so much as well. Thank you, Guards March. Exactly, Mr. Grimsdale. Exactly. This is, you know go for it i mean we can um, have a little chit chat it's all good hope you're all good mr grimsdale hope you're all good andy williams margot thank you very much hope you're all well hope everyone's feeling the buzz everyone getting the teds out get the ted emojis get them out let's do it let's feed the nation oh hello oh, i'll tell you what i'm gonna put walkers i'm gonna get the teds out and walkers there we go we know how to make a live chat in it oh totally totally agree with you absolutely yeah mark thank you very much man living the dream hope you're all good hope you're well mark and damon mark how you doing hope you're all good damon how's it going hope you're watching and chilling and enjoying yourselves hopefully we'll get something for you hope it's all good ian wright how's it going hope you're all good hope you're well man Christine Barnes, hope you're well. Mick Riley, how's it all going? Debbie Brooks, how you doing, darling? Hope you're good. Hope you're well. Aaron Oxford, my free bears. Oh, nice one. You alright there? All right. <coughs> good. <coughs> you alright? Yeah. Good. Is this your regular pitch? No, oh, yeah. <coughs> Steve S, how's it going as well? Hope you're all good. Hope you're well. Darren Parsons, how's it all going? Well, it was pretty good. It was pretty good at Marham earlier today, just to see that. Gaza, thanks for the weather report, man. It's all good. Hope you're all well. But yeah, while we're waiting, just give us a, we'll do some Q&A, go for it. We can do that, not a problem. If you've got any questions for our squadron leader, Ted, go for it. Is there any guarantee that you'll see anything? You no. haven't got any contacts? No, we just turn up and enjoy. That's the way. Uh, 
wild man, wild, how you doing? That's brilliant, everyone's doing that, thank you very much. Keep them coming, keep it going. Just be careful of the wires, please, all right? Yeah, no, I'm not. Thanks, mate. Yeah, no, we got tickets, we'll be there. They'll be, you've got to go online. Sorry. It's gone off. Uh, I, can't remember, I can't remember how much it is now, I can't remember how much it was, but yeah. When I first started, it was about three quid. Now it's gone up to ten. Anyway, leave you. Okay, buddy, thank you. Uh, Captain A, no, I don't have, um, I don't have any regrets, not at all, man. No, just gone for it. You gotta make these moves. Um, from the legend, <laughs> I tell you what, this is gonna sound really funny. From the legendary film that is Bubble Boy. Does anyone remember Bubble Boy? I, know, I remember that bit when, uh, when the, oh, I forgot his name. I forgot his name. The, 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 the Harley Davidson, uh, the motorcyclist. He said. He said, you didn't come all this way to play it safe, did you, SA? <laughs> That's, you know, and that is true. I didn't come all this way to play it safe. I've gone for it. You know, and every week I was delaying going full time with this. I, I knew I'd regret it every week that I didn't make that move. It's not just, so I had a, an actual job as well to go with that. See, the story goes, right? Um, I, I was a, a manager um, at, at, for Lidl, that's right, the supermarket, and you know I was with them for 17 and a half years, and I wanted to do wedding photography, because photography was a bit of a passion, and still is in a way, because I'm using the camera, so I decided to um, give up my full flexibility and become a deputy manager, which they, they do, but they're a brilliant company. I was speaking to Davey yesterday about it, and um, and yeah, and I uh, was allowed to go down to deputy manager. And just before COVID, I was gonna make the move, I'll never forget it, May 2020. It, that's right, May 2020, that was my goal to go full-time wedding photography. And I was gonna leave Lidl. However, it didn't happen because COVID came along. So I thought, my goodness be good job I didn't, because they can't, they stop all weddings. And what was thriving? Anything to do with food. So I thought, wow, I, I was like counting my blessings, staying in the food industry, in the retail industry. So I decided to, um, when the weddings were allowed, I thought, do you know what? I'll, um, so I stepped down to a store assistant after that. I gave up, because uh, I wanted to, you know, I was, I was doing so well with the weddings, by the way, I actually just stepped down even more, down to a store assistant, like a customer assistant. And so yeah, I was gonna leave for good. 2020 may but luckily i didn't because covid came along and they've stopped weddings for goodness knows how long and they had all these restrictions and all this stuff and you know you had to have this you had to have that and i decided to um still do the weddings and have little and luckily i did because i thought you never know what's gonna happen around the corner and then a year later didn't it all just kick off again there was all these variants and god knows what and uh so i stuck with it and then obviously as you know along came ted and i was doing this youtube channel and then october last year it went crazy the channel just exploded and it well but i say that not not to the lengths that it's gone now it's gone even more hasn't it and um and yeah i was thinking oh my god i really want to do ted full time i think i've got something special here i think i've, I've done something new and um and yeah i went for it august or was it even July? Did I go full time in? I can't even remember. I think it was. It might have even been July. Yeah, I just went for it. So here we are. Ted changed my life. He absolutely changed my life completely. And I've gone for it. There 
It was after Ria. So, yes, I, I'd, should we just go with August? I went full time. Should we go with that? I think August, isn't it? Yeah, you just got to go for it. You've got one life, absolutely. Uh, Debbie Brooks towards Ted's Sporran. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's so nice, Debbie. Oh, that would be nice. Get Ted a Sporran. Oh, nice one. Off you go, Ted. Quickly get it before the, um, before the wind blows it onto the range. Lady Shens and Teddy Bears, if you are... Uh, if you're a beret wearing type of bear uh, and it goes onto the range please don't retrieve it just um, i'd probably best contact tower and then do it if um by the way i haven't said this on the um on our little housekeeping should you wish that you feel the need that you've got to go onto the range right when the range is closed obviously because if the flags are down so basically this is monday to friday you can actually find out the times on the dot gov website that's right the government hm website tells you the range times and of course, it doesn't tell you what's coming in. It's just all potluck. I don't even know if anything's coming in at all. But if you do look at the state of this, it's like you're heading for the Eye of Sauron and Mordor, the mines of Manastir, whatever it's called. <laughs> it is boggy and marshy. And if you survive that, you will get attacked because there's something else that doesn't really need a Squawk 7002. And that is the hungry, a10 blasting mosquitoes they will eat you they will absolutely you'll come out with just not a lot on you it they will they, they will absolutely destroy so yeah be careful um again a t and if you do just do it you do want to go onto the range when the range is closed uh if you do come across anything metal or anything that lead or looks like what was ordnance like weaponry armament please don't touch it for this for, the, for your own safety just leave it alone there are there have been situations where there are undetonated weapons on here okay so just leave it alone you have been told and warned from tcs Andy Williams, this is a very special channel, Nikos. Everything happens for a reason. Thank you so much, it's lovely. It is a marsh. So yeah, this is the, um, basically this is the wash that you're looking at. Uh, these are some of the targets. Uh, we can show you some of the targets. We haven't done that yet. Target nine, just there. They are numbered. Some of the, I've seen the wash um, come all the way up to here, by the way. I've seen that before. Oh, hello. Oh, dear. That doesn't look good. That'll probably get told to clear off politely. There are different rules. They've got a bit more leeway, the laws on the sea, as opposed to laws on the land. But why would you want to come here? I mean, is it to get easier catch? <laughs> if you know what I mean. It's another target there. But yeah, have a look at the live. The, uh, sorry, if you don't want to, you know, watch the whole live, um, have a look at the F-15s with the paveway bombs. Unbelievable! It is amazing. This at night usually gets destroyed by the Chinooks. That target there. I think I don't even. I don't even know if I can see our. Uh, target for the um, F-15s that, that came the other day. I think it's this one here, isn't it? I think so. Have a look on Google Maps as well, because a lot of people are getting a bit confused with they're not hitting the boat. They're not. If you look at the actual target ring um, from Google Maps, then you'll know what I mean, that they, they hit every target. I think the female pilot completely blitzed it. So yeah, for those that don't know, the F-15s has a, um, a nickname, um, the, 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 the crew in the back, it's called a Wizzo, that's, for, that's a nickname, it's spelt W-S-O, 
um, in abbreviations, it's Weapon Systems Operator, but Wizzo for a nickname, uh, I, that's spelled W-I-Z-Z-O, I think it is, but they call him the Wizzo. I suppose it's uh, W-S-O quickly pronounced as Wizzo. Now, it's the Weapon Systems Operator will be working hard to get a laser lock on that, and it's actually the pilot that fires the shot. Okay, just so that you are aware, it's not the um, not the pi not the weapon systems operator that fires the bombs. It's actually, although the weapon systems operator does all the all the all the, um, the lock with the laser, um, it is the pilot that does it. Hoping we're gonna get something, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Can't see anything at the moment. Can't see any Chinooks. I mean, it does take them a good hour. Margo, thank you for gifting Ted Connigsby membership. Thank you so much. Can't march for Margo. Well, this is a uh Ted, Ted and his Barry bet. Luckily, the winds calmed down a little bit. So yeah, I'm, I'll probably do my dance if I hear my scanner go off. So uh, brace yourselves for that one. Yeah, just uh, just going back to Craig Bruce there with uh, yeah about the restrictions. I know, man. I was there with you, <laughs> not physically, but you know what I mean. Thanks a lot, Martin Skeek. Thirty k, congratulations. Sometimes we just have to. Uh, sometimes we have to let go of old dreams to find out we have new dreams awaiting us. If we don't take chances, no story. I know, man. I just went for it. Oh, John, Nikos, you look so young to have such an amazing life for it. I think, well, you know, I've always said this. I've said I can't do it without you. It's you guys have given me that. You, you ladies, gents and teddy bears have given me that opportunity to do that. And, you know, it's just the way what we've got here is something special. We have a very special channel. You, you know, what military aviation channel? Um... Uh, first of all, we got our own vocab, which is great. That that's good. But then has this squadron leader as the main presenter, and he gets to fly, which makes the channel even more special. We have part of our channel flying around as well, so it's just a wonderful thing. We also are one of I I, I, don't, I think Claire, I think the Claire Bear is the only female military aviation presenter as a live stream, or at least the only. Is I wonder if Claire Bear is the only aviation military aviation live streaming presenter that we've got well certainly ted is the first bear presenting i think for military aviation at least anyway <laughs> and how proud are we to have to, to say that we've raised over fourteen thousand pounds for military charities that is amazing
you white wizard, you shall not pass. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm going, how you doing? Which other military live show has their squadron leader almost catch live bombs thrown at the air to ground range? Subscribe. Totally, just go for it. But yeah, I'll be here for about. Uh, probably until about nine, just to see if what we can catch. I feel like we're, we're all fishing together, you know, I'm waiting for a catch. I feel like we're about to get something. How cool is that? And we're, we're there to catch the big fish, or any, and we're gonna get excited together if we catch anything. That would be so cool, I can't wait. Cannot wait. I mean, this, this, I just don't, I just don't get this, where, where are we? You know, I know they've got um, a radius to, you know, to, to warn boats and vessels and things like that out there, but yeah, I mean, I certainly wouldn't want to do that near a range, so. But I think they've got a lot of, they got more rights on the sea. I know they do get told to move if anything's coming in to, you know, fire live ordnance, which we're hoping to get for you. Come on. Like I said, as soon as you hear my scanner, then it's all good. Good afternoon, Alan Q, how are you doing? Oh, Andy Williams, we're here because we believe in you. There is a female aviation presenter on one on the Manchester streams. I've also heard women on some US streams, L Civil. Okay, cool, no worries. That's fine. But not military, is that right? But anyway, either way, it doesn't matter. I just thought, you know, add more unique stuff to the channel. It was, um, but certainly, I think we're the only teddy bear that does that. Yeah, I think they can't go sort of within this uh, radar. Not radar, but you know what I mean, all the, uh, all the antennas that you can see on that radar being there. Don't think they're allowed to go within that. Um, they do a lot of co cockle fishing over here. so nice we can get something for you today hasn't been anything at all today not yet anyway like I said I took a little trip because I got here about 11 o'clock this morning and I thought oh okay didn't you know I waited and I thought oh, I'll just go to Marham it's only about 45 minutes from here so I went to Marham and in what three hours it was just one f35 I think it was uh, but it did do a it did PFOs as well which is a uh, practice flame out so like we see at um, Lake and Eve so it did them, and of course it did the unrestricted climb. It's, it is the nature of it, unfortunately, it's the way it is. 
Uh, I think Martin, our friend Martin Michalecki at the Lake District, I think he's got his F-15s again. Nice. He's had a good week up there. Well done. Yeah, I thought I'd treat you to two videos today. Why not? I thought, you know, fresh. Got your fresh catch straight away from uh, from RAF Maru. These, um, these buildings are called quadrants. They do a lot of the lookouts and scoring. The uh, noise you can hear in the background is a farmer in the field working with uh, equipment. Just so you're not in suspense of what is going on. And you go like, and the tractors, uh, even the farmers getting in there now. Look at this. Oh yeah. So yeah, it is, like I said, it's a case of just waiting and being patient. You just never know. I mean, last time we were here, do you remember? F-35 first thing and uh, show of force and beautiful, beautiful flying. Absolutely incredible. And then three, four hours later, was it? Yeah, you know, the four F-15s, a bit of plowage. Oi, oi, Zaid. Margot, thank you for gifting 10 Ted Coningsby memberships. Thank you so much. It's the vibe and the love on this channel, and yet we haven't even had anything come in yet. Um, wow, incredible. Thank you so much, Margot. Guards march for Margot. Thank you, Margot. Thank you, 10 Ted Coningsby memberships. And if you'd like, uh, if you're feeling generous as well, please, uh, by all means, um, give us a super chat and you'll get a guards march from our very own squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. Damon Head, how you doing? Hope we're all good. Wenda Cox, how you doing? Oi, oi. Very nice to see you on here, Wenda. <laughs> For those that remember the legendary Claire Bear LFA 17 Lake District. Claire took control of the camera and the famous 
the famous episode began of her panning round, just, you know, innocently going, yeah, I'll just turn it around just in case something's coming in. And then planes, 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 planes. Oh my God, there's millions of them. Absolutely brilliant. And I love in the fact that someone on here, I can't remember who, uh, you know who you are. Someone, someone put some Nikos algebra, I think it was. Two F-35s plus two F-35 equals millions. <laughs> that was brilliant. And for the long-awaited hoodie, I've ordered two samples from a supplier. So we're just waiting for them. They're going to be quite chunky and heavy and embroidered as well with a, with a new logo. So enjoy. Oh yeah. Looking forward to that. Um, I'm working also on my designers working on the Fweep t-shirt for those interested. Fweep! Oh yeah. Looking forward to that. Because I know you guys went crazy for the Fweep t-shirt. Just uh, can't wait for something to come in. Come on, something's got to come in, isn't it? Come on. checking our ADSBs. It, it's that sort of time when you should get rotary this this late. But like I said, the problem is, is if they've gone tech or there's an issue or anything like that, that is the only worry. Speaking of Fweep, uh, just give me one second. So I've just I've just got my um, designer for the Fweepage. Steady bears, uh, let's get this done. Let's hit the lights, let's get this done now. Let's try and tempt aircraft to get here and start using the range. Come on. There you go. Hit the lights, lady sheds and teddy bears. Just hit the like. I know nothing's come yet, but you know how it is. You know how we do things. We just sit and wait patiently and hope for the best. And then something will come along, surely. Can't have one. Can't have all day with nothing, surely. Yeah, I've got the. Um, I've just got my designer. Um, just asked me a question about the um, about the F15 Fweep. I know, pretty cool, huh? Just give me two ticks. Yeah, I think the Fweep T-shirt's going to go quite well, isn't it? What do you reckon?
Oi oi, congrats on 30k. Here's the equivalent of 30k Colombian peso because 30k. Keep following that dream, Nikos. Thank you very much, Synchro Tones. Guards March for you, thank you very much, man. Synchro Tones, thank you so much. Guards March for you. Just hope nothing's cancelled, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Wouldn't that just be a disaster? But we are here all together. We're in this together. This is how it is. This is how it's done. This is military after all. Marco, thank you for gifting 10 Ted Coningsby memberships. Guards March for you. The Cuban 6 always defies gravity. I don't think it's ever come off doing the Cuban 6. Ted's little manoeuvre. Bjorn Danielson, gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. Thank you very much. Guards March for Bjorn Danielson. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for that. Thank you so much. Oh yeah. Plenty in the skies, isn't there? What we got here? We got looks like we've got an Apache over Cambridge. Nothing really to report on Chinooks, really, that are sort of aiming this way. targets here that you can see this is uh, used a lot by the Osprey they love taking this one down I've got the TED cam ready as well bless it just chilling over there let me turn the, turn that off save a bit of battery
can't really see anything at the moment. So yeah, we're at Hull Beach Air Weapons Range, a place to bring your aircraft to blow up and shoot stuff, and we're just uh, awaiting anything to come here to do exactly that. And uh, last week, for those that uh, tuned in, got to see blowing up stuff. <laughs> that was uh, pretty good. That was impressive, I can't wait. Really good, that really good. Yeah, we just gotta wait patient. I'm just gonna check to see if there's anything, see what we got. There's a lot of typhoons out. My goodness me, they've gone for it, man. But this is, like I said, this is the nature of it. A lot of waiting around, and but you know, sometimes. We, you know it can get really busy here as well but it's been one of those days that has been absolutely dead because they there's been literally nothing all day so um good job we weren't here all day but i did go to marham i've got some uh, footage for you which i've put on youtube already so you know fresh out of the can new fresh in you know fresh catch like this over here Martin Nanzel. Yeah, it was a great stream. The F-15s doing bombing runs. That was awesome. I'm working at the old uh, Hatfield Airfield. At the, at Airfield to Havilland Aerospace. Nice. Heather, how you doing? Hope you're good. Watching from Australia. Hope you're well. Nice to see Wanda and uh, Heather. Hope, hope you girls are well. Tiger Dragon, how's it going? Storm Gaming, how's it going? Katie Weber. Oi, oi to everyone. Oh, hello. What's this? We got something. We might have something. Oh, I don't know what that's saying. But we might Might have something, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. I don't know what it is. Hobby Trains, good evening. Join the range. We got an F-15 over here. Yeah, we got an F-15. 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 Yeah, Okay, it's going to be dry, but we got our 15s. <laughs> Here we go. Bit of, bit of lake and eat, ladies, shants and teddy bears. Come on. <laughs> bit of dry strafage. And it's the bowlers.
Come on, you got to hit the like. We're gonna get some gorgeous strafage. <laughs> oh yeah. Do you see what I mean, though? Here's me thinking it's gonna be a Chinook, and you get F15s. Do you know? You just never know. You just turn up and hope for the best. And there might be something after this. You just don't know. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and, um, gonna try and, you know, just probably um, stay here to about nine, I think. Um, because I'm, I am hoping for a tuna. They usually come late, but you, you just don't know. I, I didn't expect F15s. I had no idea there was going to be F15s. We got F15s. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, F15s. They got F15s. <laughs> yes, get in. Got to get some F15 itch. I wanna know. Do -do 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 -do. And this moody light as well, it's gonna be quite interesting. Shall I um slow it down a little bit? Yeah, just go to that, see what happens. Oh actually saying that though, the TED cam. I've got it on a different lens, so I don't know if I've got time. I'll try and set the tent cam to, to something different. Now that the wind's calmed down. I don't know if I've got time to do it, but I'll try. Only one more flight, I'll beat you on it. I'm just trying to get the TED cam ready because I've had the uh, the massive lens on it. So if I've got time to get that one for you, that'd be good. A bit of TED cam action on there for you. Ted cam is on. Get ready, ladies, gents, teddy bears. Come on, let's do this. Right. So yeah, being clear to join the range. Squawking seven zero zero two. <laughs> oh, my keys are there. I, oh. You just love that sound. Right, let's get going. Where are ya? Right, give me some F15 inch. Oh, I can see F15 inch. I've got them. Look at them. It's huge! Ugh. Right. Right. Shh. 
So they're just doing a weather check at the minute. Yeah, give me two ticks. Here we go. That's what we wanted. Oh, the two base. So there's going to be dry strafing. Here we go. Oh, gosh, it's over there. Oh my God.
bit further out than before, you know. It's like quite far out if you look. Not like last week too, so let's have a look. Let's see what they got.
Two F-15s, keeping us entertained. And that's the uh, 492nd Fighter Squadron. It's uh, Ted Squadron, isn't it? The bowlers, guns up, thank you very much. Tricky's not making it. We'll be calling you back here in about three, Mike. So there was going to be call sign tricky as well, but we just heard negative. That's a shame, isn't it? Couldn't quite work out if they're coming back, actually. It did sound like they were coming back, I'm not sure. So yeah, apologies for some of the jerking going on there. I was like, 
uh, I was getting attacked by mosquitoes there, man. I didn't put any spray on and they were eating me alive and I had to just handle it and take it and get killed. There they See ya! <laughs> nice. Right, let me get some sprayage. Come get an attackage. Mozzies. Right, one sec, ladies, shenzi, teddy bears. This is not good. Oh. Oh, right. Man, they are eating me here. Yeah, they were, um, that was great, you know, it's always good to, you know, you just never know what you're going to get. And um, they were um, they were a little bit high, weren't they? But hey, you know what? Well, I reckon they were, they might have been beginners, I reckon. I don't know, don't know if that's true or not. Actually, no, I don't know, some of, the, some of it was just pretty damn good, wasn't it? Um, don't know, sometimes I just get a gist that if it's someone new, they don't always go all out. You know, you can, you can usually tell the one that's... Uh, got the most experience by the way they fly i don't know if the how true that is but i know that is with low level if um you are going low level uh if you've got a, a less experienced pilot that pilot will always be higher than the other one uh, which i was told from the parent of the of the f-15 pilot that went low level um they said that yeah he was new and uh, didn't go as high as the other one because they've done it before so that was pretty cool right well that was good see it's always good to get something and it, it's always different. I didn't expect them to be out that far. You remember like last time, they weren't that far away. Um, I can't, I'm pretty sure he said he's coming back. Um, we heard, definitely heard Tricky wasn't coming. That was a negative. I mean, are we gonna get F-15s in the evening? That's brilliant. <laughs> Andy Williams. Mozzie's two, Nikos at zero. I know, man. Well, hang on. I've got this as well. How many have I got? Uh, how many Mozzie's are in here? Well, I can see two moths in there. Okay. Come on, then. Come and get me. Come on. Come and get them. <laughs> oh my God, I'm getting killed. I'll have to cover myself up so I don't get killed. <laughs> so we got F-15s, man. That was brilliant. That was really good. It's, like I said, it's always exciting to get anything here. Just get something here. It's always amazing when you get something here. It's so good. Um, so yeah, dry strafing, brilliant. It can be exciting as well. Um, you know, it's uh, you don't always need uh, live ammo to get it exciting. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> trying to fight these mozzie, come on. No, no, come on in it. Come on in. Anyway, uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, the, the excitement of seeing an aircraft, that is the buzz that I get. You know, just, sorry, I just gotta sort this out now. It's mozzie, so it's gonna, don't know. Um, I think I got my own version of va, 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 va. Like, go on in, go on in, eh? Got it. <laughs> okay, I think there was <laughs> I keep forgetting I am live, but I don't care. It's just the way it is. I don't even realize I'm live sometimes. I just like go with it. But yes, great start to the afternoon, evening now uh, with two F-15s. Nice.
I was expecting Chinooks, but oh well. That'll do, we'll take two F-15s anytime, but it'd be good to get Chinooks. I can't wait. It'll be good. Um, you never know. And uh, let me just check, see if there's anything else. But I did hear that they were coming back. Um, tweep! Um, what's this going on here? Um, oh. Yeah, I have been bitten right on the throat. Oh, nasty. And then, uh, I've got some on my hands. Well, but I, ha I just kept going. I knew I was going to get eaten. And I've got one on my head. Oh, my God. Ouch. Oh, no. Scratchy, scratchy time. Oh, no. Um, never mind. I'm just going to just see how it's all going to go. Um, let me just turn the TED cam off. How are we all doing, ladies, gents, and teddy bear? I hope you enjoyed that. A nice little warm-up to hopefully more things that are going to come our way later on. Um, yeah, why not? Why not? Let's get some F-15s out here. It's, it, we, we get quite a lot of uh, the 48 fighter wing coming here, which is really cool. It is really good. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. You, um, I... I'm hoping you heard the checking in and the, and the safety um, and all that that was going on and the weather checks and, and all that and the um, going in dry, clear, dry, that kind of thing. It's brilliant. Really, really good. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, hopefully lots more to come. That's going to get pretty interesting to get fighter jets coming here in the evening. I don't think I've had fighter jets here in the evening before. I don't know. Even before I, I uh, was going live. Cool, huh? <laughs> oh my god, they're all over my stuff. Ted, sort them out, man. But yeah, it's always good to see them out in the wild. I know it's all very well going to a base, but isn't it just great to see them low level and out of range, just out in the wild? I think they were a bit high for the Ted cam. I was hoping they'd go, yeah, show of force. Give me some show of force anytime. I love show of force. Who doesn't love the show of force? So show of force is pretty much intimidation and almost like buzzing the tower. Yeah. How we doing? How we feeling? Oh, we're all good anyway, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Uh, like I said, it's always good to get something. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, it's something all good. Let's have a look. Let me just check if we are going to get a Chinook anytime soon. Let me have a quick look. Uh, no, that one's not coming here. That Chinook there, Barksford, that's not coming here. Um, so it looks like that F-15 went to the Lake District and then came here. Brilliant. Let's see what else is going to come here. Right, let's catch up with you on all the chats. How are we all doing? How are we feeling? Hope we're all good, Ted Coningsby. Oi, oi, uh, Craig Bruce, how are you doing? Let 
Yeah, hopefully they'll uh, they'll take my bait. I've got this. Uh, I've got any in here at the moment. Yeah, this UV light's going to work brilliant. They're going to get it. Yeah, they're going to get it all right. So yeah, please help the uh, Nikos. Uh, oh, he got me right on the Adam's apple as well. Oh, that is hard to scratch. Oh man. Yeah, so they they went. Um, it looks like they went to LFA17. I think Martin got them actually. Let me just uh, message him now. If, uh, if my friend Martin got them. Let's have a look. Because he's at uh, Martin Michalecki, the legend. He's uh, um Let me just message him. I've just messaged him now. So he's at Raven Crag at the Lake District. Um, he's been, he's got a week. What? I've messaged him now. Hey Custard, how you doing? Hope you're good. Hope you're all well. Oh yeah. Right. So uh... Yeah, I totally forgot how bad the mozzies are here. They're really bad here. Yeah, let me just put that over here. Hopefully they go with that. The UV light should work better in the when it gets later on. Right, Ted, where are you, mate? I think we've got an oi oi and a shout out to do, I think. What we'll do, I think I've got my gloves. That'll do the job. Got a shout out, Ted. Come on, mate. Where's Teddy? We've got a uh... I've ever had um, fighter jets in the evening, as in the Ted Coningsby channel. So we've got, I think we've got a shout out, is it Henry? Yeah, Henry Ellis, how you doing? Little, uh, little, oi oi, to you. How's it all going? Chris Bloxham, how you doing, man? Hope you're good. Oi, oi. Hope you're good. <laughs> Got Victor Vasquez here. Can my wife get a kiss from Ted, please? She's uh, called Dawn. Ted, there you go. <laughs> Ted went straight in. So I hope we're all good, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Two F-15s to warm us up here on this uh, mosquito infesting place at the moment. <laughs> oh man. 
Ted, be careful, buddy. Ted, Ted will try and, like, chew him away. Ted's gonna do his best. Add custard oi oi to you. Meth, how you doing? Yeah, we got some serious mozzies here. I mean, my legs scarred to pieces when I was here last last year. And oh, it got me right, it's, it's got me right in the middle of my, like, Adam's apple. It's a horrible place to try and scratch. Oh, nasty. Two night streams in a week with Spore. Thank you. You're welcome, Meth. Thank you very much as well. Thank you so much, Guards March for Meth. It's going to be pretty cool to see them at night if they are coming. Rob Kennard, thank you very much. Great camera work again, Nikos. Rob, how you doing? How is Rob Kennard? I don't get to see you much on here. Hope you're well. I hope everything's good with you. Uh, Rob Kennard, thank you very much. Guards March for you. Hope it's all good in, um, is it Devon? Can't remember if uh, Rob Kennard's from Devon. Possibly. Guards March, and thank you very much. Thank you so much for the super chat. Nice one, Ted. All right, we just gotta see what else is gonna come our way, hopefully. Hopefully some more amazing F-15s or anything else. I mean, like I said, it's uh, we just gotta just accept what we got. <laughs> Doctor said, how you doing? Christopher Harding, how you doing? Hope you're all good. Martin Harris, thank you very much. Don't forget, if you want a Guards March, give us a super chat or a uh, gift of membership. Guards March for the super chat. Thank you very much. Very kind of you from Martin Harris. Oi, oi! If anyone spots anything that's uh, been used of our footage and uh, drops a line, let us know the account, we'll sort them out. Hope we're all good, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Ted Conigsby channel, always copied, never bettered, sorry to say, but that is true. The amount of accounts that we keep finding on YouTube that have uh, not even asked about, you know, and oh man, it's got messy in some places, but obviously Ted wins all the time, just the way it is. Hello Bear, how you doing? Ian Whitting, how you doing? Yeah, just uh, anyone find any accounts like that, just... Uh... Yeah, thank you very much, thank you. We'll, we'll deal with that, we'll find it and sort it out, thank you. I'll just check ADSB, see if anything else is... Uh... at the moment I'm hoping that's not it
Rob Kennard, thank you for gifting five Ted Connorsby memberships. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Rob. Thank you. Sammy B, evening to you. Snapjack, how you doing? Hope you're all good. Margo, how's it going? How's Edinburgh? See you, bro. Um. Right, thank you very much. bit quiet now Ted isn't it but yep our scanner's on ready to go just a quick uh, battery update So yeah, we're at Whole Beach Air Weapons Range. The uh, range um, is open till about 10 p.m. tonight. So we're hoping to get things, uh, one more. Hoping to get one more. I'm not saying there's something coming, I'm just saying I'm hoping there's just uh, at least just one more movement for the, you know, for the stream. That'll be good. But yeah, it, it is all potluck. It's not like a bus timetable. That's the nature of military aviation. You just turn up, plan to see nothing, hope to see something. And if you do, bonus, just enjoy it. Just, you know, that it makes it special that way in some ways. Because, you know, it's not like, you know, it, it, I suppose it makes you more appreciative when it, you know, when you get something, you know, if it was a regular thing, you know, there'll be people everywhere and you won't get parking. It's, it's one of those potluck things. And, and it can also be a nice place to relax apart from getting eaten by mosquitoes. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely, lovely thing. You know, and I know it's a lot of waiting, lots of patience needed, but best things come to those who wait. That is definitely for sure. You know, we went to the Lake District. It's not always like that, you know, to get 16 passes, it's just like unreal. It's unheard of.
Eui. You're right, Durno. How are we doing here now? This is my type of place. It's my type of place round here now. This is good round here. My type of place. Place to blowing up and shooting stuff here now. Arr, that's all good here now. That's how we do it round there. My name's Reggie. Part of the RAF regiment. You'll be seeing me a lot here. Practicing J tax there now. Joint terminal attack controller. That's right there now. It's one of our things round here where we give support. What we do. We go on like radio, like a controller, and we radio in coordinates to the aircraft, and then you just shoot it, blow it up. You know what I mean? No, no, it's quite good there now when they need support because that's what we're here. I'm ground at air. Arr. I'm part of RAF regiment, proud, so proud. Look, got me tattoo of my on my foot because I like to keep it on the ground there now. While they're flying around in their pretty little planes there now. Yeah, I'm always up to something, always trying to make sure everyone's behaving themselves there now. Have you hit that like button? Make sure you hit the like button there now. Arr! That's right. You can always tell a regiment by the mush. Yeah? Our mush is our sensor, our feeler, our radar. The bigger the mush, the bigger your radar now now. And then you can track all the trouble. You start sniffing. We sniff trouble. Sometimes you just have to accept mosquitoes in your face. You just gotta accept them. Don't worry about them there now. When you're in combat, you can't be dealing with a spider there now. Oh, arr. if a spider's on your face, you just have to deal with it. It's all good round here now. You eat, you right there now. I see people down there. What are they up to? all good round here now that's right flying around on their pretty little planes i don't do all that flying business no 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 i'm gonna keep it on the ground because let's face it there now while the air secure that pretty little plane has to come down here now and if the ground ain't safe then where are they gonna land there now so we do it round there now it's all good round here well, this looks good over here now. Look at this. Pretty good that there now, isn't it? Arr. Right there now. I'll be back in a bit there now. Gonna go and get me some chicken. I love my chicken. Be back in a minute there now. Oh. Oh, look, there's nothing really coming in at the moment. Oh, Margo, thank you very much for for Red Ted's kilt for Lossy. <laughs> oh, bless. Thank you very much, Margo. Guards March coming up for you. Margo, thank you very much. Thanks, Margot. Thank you. We'll have to get Red Ted a kilt as well. That would be brilliant. get something else there ladies gents and teddy bears ted Connixby channel live here at hull beach air weapons range a place to bring your aircraft to blow up and shoot stuff god who remembers that apache stream as well when i first started coming here with streamage when we got the apaches firing those rockets as well that was good that was pretty good and uh yeah but last week that just that just completely that shocked me i was going crazy there's a bit of boggage going on here, look at this. You've seen the boggage, look at this. Look at that bog. You ain't coming out of that. Look at that, bit of boggage. Look at this, bit of swampage.
I'll do a little quick check on the weather actually for tomorrow's uh, runway for uh, Lake Anif. I know loads of people have been asking me. Uh, let's have a look here and now. Wind for Lake and Heath tomorrow. Here we go. Let's see what's actually what is the weather doing tomorrow? Is it emotional? Because uh Oh that got me a good and right on the Adam's apple that. Right anyway, let's have a look. Lake and Heathage tomorrow. What's the weather saying? Looks good. Oh this looks good tomorrow. Wind. Come on. What are we? I don't really care where. I don't really mind. I, I really don't mind. I just like to be in the right place for tomorrow. I'm just going to check the wind for tomorrow. Do, 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 do. So they're using runway two four tomorrow for those interested. Twenty some twenty miles an hour ridge. Nick Ward for some insect spray for you. Thank you. Yeah, I've got some here. Um, I just didn't expect them to come out today. Nick Ward, thanks, man. Guards March for Nick Ward. Thank you very much. Thank you for that. We will need that very much. Guards March for Nick Ward. Thank you so much. Thanks, Nick. Hope you're well. Hope everyone's well. Hope everyone's enjoying the show so far. Uh, just two F-15s at the moment with their dry strafing. Poor Ted, he's getting attacked as well. He's getting a bit concerned. We'll have to, let me just try and spray him, Ted. Have we got any in our little trap? No, just two moths, which, uh, you didn't really want moths in there. Oh, well. It's for the mozzies. They've got to go, man. They've, they've actually got to go. All stations, all stations. This is Hobby Trange. We are now closing. Oh. I say again, this is Hobby Trange. We are now closing. Have a good evening, everybody. Thank you very much, Hole Beach. Oh, they're closing. They're not coming back. Everything's done. Aww. All stations, Hole Beach closing. Have a good evening. Oh, man. Oh, no, I feel sad. Oh, no. No, man. I'm sorry, I got this on because... Oh man, well that's the way it is. That's nice of them to let the other stations know and and everything. That's it. That is the end. What can you do? Well, thank you very much. I don't usually look like this. Um, I'm just trying to keep covered up. Oh, Lady Shenton Teddy Bears. That's a shame. So yeah, that that that's what a cancellation's like. That's what you can hear sometimes um, on on the radio. And that's how I know sometimes that you know. Man, you know, beret down, what can you do? But thank you anyway for joining us because it could have been a different man. We were supposed to get more F-15s. It's just a shame we didn't. But anyway, listen, on behalf of myself and Ted, thank you very much. And Reggie, who made a quick appearance there. Um, bit of a shame, but that's the way it is, sadly. Never mind, what can you do? But I'll see you tomorrow morning, which, uh, which I'm looking forward to. What time is it now? 18.30 local. Yeah, a bit of a shame now, but what can you do? just the way it is it's now closed it is like i said it is it is actually open to 2200 tonight but if if everything's cancelled then they'll just close the range and allow the mosquitoes to breed and attack people right well i'm gonna get an early night then and attack these mosquitoes but that's the way it is sadly and i'll just quickly catch up with you on the chats before i go all right
Yeah, thank you very much. I hope you're all good. And uh, yeah, I'll, um, I'll catch you tomorrow then. Thanks a lot. Everyone, honestly, thank you so much, everyone, um, for, for all your support. And uh, just want to say a massive, massive uh, good evening to you. But at least we got to see something. It wasn't complete. It wasn't a zero. All right. Anyway, ladies and sunny bears, take care. See you soon. Wish you well. Yeah.